Hey YouTube, if you look at my top teams video from this morning on Retro Cup, I said, this team I went 9-1 and with, I'm going to showcase it. So I was putting the battles together, I got the 9 wins together, and I go to put in the loss, and I look at the matchup, and the first Pokemon against I was against is a Whimsicott. And Whimsicott is half fairy. So which means that my one loss with this team was in the open Great League that I accidentally clicked on instead of the Retro Cup. So, strong team, double double ghost. Uh, as I mentioned in the video it's, uh, this morning, you kind of need to switch out, you kind of don't need to switch out. It really depends on on how the first matchup's going and what you think is in the back. Because there are Pokemon like um, Lickitung and Trevenant and stuff like that where they could theoretically take the back line themselves. Obviously, you're going to be able to chip both of those Pokemon a ton with these. Uh, so you don't need to do it, but it, it does make it difficult. So sometimes you'll see... I stay in the matchup, sometimes I leave the matchup, it just depends how you want to play it and what you're reading in the back. Um, but basically, ghosts, I know these are have secondary typings with water and ice, but because dark is banned from this, you just got one of your hardest walls and counters out of the way, which makes ghosts super strong. And double I put in just because um, ghosts are going to have problems with normal typings, because normal typings like Lickitung, uh, will take double resisted from ghosts. So that is why I put in a normal typing double with a uh, double kick to deal with that. I think double double and Vigoroth are both pretty good in this meta. So let's take a look at it in action. So nine wins coming at you here. Although I, I think a couple of them were just like maybe opponent misplays. So we will start with a defense Oxus. I lose, I um, lose lead, so I had to come in here immediately. And they come in with... Uh, with Dragonair and I immediately know the only reason you're coming in with a Dragonair is if you're running the double dragon backline, right? I said one of the very common backlines is a double dragon. I don't think that Defense Deoxys is the right play on the lead because you will have to <laughs> like lose to all Frostlass on all three. Actually Dragonair in even shields and in the 2v1 as you saw here does beat uh, Frostlass but that is okay. I just read this team now though so I know my win condition is just Jellicent with a one shield advantage. So thank you, Double, for your service. I do not really need you to Jellicent is gonna be Defense Deoxys. Uh, I'm gonna just stay in here. I will shield, could be Thunderbolts, could be just Psycho Boost, both will hurt. I expect the Dragonite or some other Dragon Arctibax or something to come in. It is a Dragonite. This is why you cannot let a Dragonite go into this matchup with zero shield. You are just going to get killed. Dragonites need shields. If you if you watch my one video uh, on Dragonite in the Open Great League, you need to pair it with Pokemon that can grab shields or are bulky enough just to take damage because you need shields for Dragonite. Shadow Ball, not quite, like, just puts it to, like, the super deep red, which means this game's over. They top left when they realize I've got them core broken with Frostlass. So Dragonair, again, not surprising dragons are everywhere. Fairies banned, Steel's banned. Um, so as you're going to see, I'm going to stay in this matchup and chip or grab a shield because the the even shield, even energy scenario actually goes to Dragonair versus Frostlass. So I think I could take a move. I've got a body slam banked. I'm gonna immediately switch into Frostlass here, or am I gonna ship this first? I tried to chip it first, uh, grab a shield. They catch on a Vigoroth. So I'll immediately claim it here, and now we're gonna get to the move almost at the same time because they got one counter through. So I decided like, you know what? Let them throw the rock side. I've already got a shield. Let me get ahead on energy. They bait, so I'm like, okay, I gotta throw this a little sooner than I want, but I can basically just go back to back here. So even if shields have the avalanche, have energy, we'll see if the dragon air comes back in. Um, it does. So then I'm like, what do you have in the back that you're coming back, dragon air? I know in the Sims, dragon air against Frostlass is very close because look at those dragon breasts, like they chunk. I have an option here. Uh, I could just let it go and try and hex down a bit, but I'm like, maybe you're double weak to this in the back, and you're sort of are, sort of aren't. You are in the fact that you are a go uh, poison, so poison ghost resist poison a ton. Uh, so I just bank an avalanche back and then come in and just completely wall this, and this game's over. So Pidgeot, Pidgeot is one where in my team analysis video I said it sucks to go against because are you going to get hit with a Free bird, are you going to get hit with a feather dance? It is a bait game. How, do you feel lucky sort of thing? They haven't thrown yet, so I'm like, 
this is good. I can immediately grab a shield here because this will take out and they're not going to go down with that much energy. And now I could make a decision here whether I think they're just going to Brave Bird or Feather Dance. I end up shielding and they just Feather Dance, which is like, ah. Uh... So then I'm like, okay, let's reset. Uh, at this point, I, I just let it go. It is another Feather Dance. They're probably going to come in something and beat me. There is your Aurorus, which will cause problems just with the Meteor Beam and how fast and spam it is. So Meteor Beam is going to take me out. I'm not going to get to another move here, which is unfortunate. So Meteor Beam, goodbye. Uh, coming here double. I think I'm basically going to sacrifice this. Yeah, just a Weather Ball. They are Rock and uh, Ice. So they are double weak to counter, right? Or fighting. So able to take them out. Um, going to throw this and then I have to immediately get out here because the last thing I can I cannot I cannot let that double goes down because if that double goes down here comes another feather dance they're going to lower my attack again um, and then I wouldn't be able to reset what ends up happening though is they're staying in I'm like get this out I cannot take a tub I cannot take a double lower and it's a trevenant in the back so that's good in the fact that I'm hitting super effective bad that they're hitting super effective bad that I'm two times lower uh I was like, maybe they'll throw and I'll sneak an extra like half move in or something. Uh, they don't. I'm like, how much does Shadow Ball lower do? And it's enough to uh, put this low that I'm just going to shield and get one more hex off to take this out. So even though two times lower, it is still okay. This one, I remember winning this one, which I don't think I should have. I think I misplayed this completely. Uh, so they come in, Medi. I'm like, okay. Everything is looking great. I. I farmed up a ton on the lead. I have a Jellicent now on the Medi. Sure, they have Psychic, but that's nerfed, so it's not as bad. Unfortunately, Defense Fall, which now makes us in second Psychic range. Still, even if they beat me here, which they do, um, I should generally still be safe. So I do end up shielding. Uh, that's okay. Still too far for Surf range, so I decided to go here. And they even beat me on the next one. I, I just I remember winning this one by one HP, but I also remember being like, I should have killed this team. Because they and they ice punched me here. And so I have shield advantage and switch advantage. And I think it's a lickatung or something comes in. What comes in? Lickatung. So I immediately get into frost last, which I think is right, because you don't want to go down. Um because you don't want to go down. Let them get a bunch of licks and just go down and do no damage. So I immediately come in here. I have to shield the power whip because that'll hurt. So that's okay. Um, they hit me with another move. Oh, where it comes down to is I like and that's just a body slam. I can come to basically two moves here. So I come to two avalanches thinking that I could take this resisted move to get to a shadow ball, but I can't. I need two. I thought I only needed one. That was the thing. I thought I only needed one. I'm like, okay, I'm screwed. So now I have back-to-back -back body slams, but I'm going to lose CMP here. I lose CMP. And I'm just like, okay, I'm for sure going to just lose this because this has got to be hitting like a truck, and it does. But double survives with one HP. So I don't think I totally misplayed that, uh, but it just felt like... Felt rough, but I guess Lickitung in the back is really tough for this team. Uh, Dragonair, again, this is one where I'm going to stay in. I'm going to chip a bunch, um, maybe throw two body slams, try and grab a shield, or bank this and then come in Frost Last right away. Yeah, those are the two options, and we both simultaneously swap. So kind of lucky, although again, with Rock Side, this makes it much, much worse. Uh, they get to a Rock Side, so I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, and then I have to commit a second shield. I could throw and take this out, but I'm like, I'm just gonna farm down and I'm like, I, I'm count I am actually counting because I know it's just seven. Uh, and I'm like, I know they're gonna get to a move, but I think shield advantage and basically like 80 energy here is probably sufficient to deal with what's left here because the Dragonair is still here. So this will grab one shield or take it out. Uh, I could probably go back to back here, right? So I can farm a bit, go back to back. 
At this point, I think I try and snipe with body slam or payback. Or am I going to let this go and then try and just body slam it? Oh, they try and farm. They try and farm me down. That's not going to happen when I've got the energy on it. So that is huge. Uh, talk specs. Okay, game over. Don't even need the... Don't even need it. Double against Dugong. So good lead. Uh, they get into Gligar. Good. I end up shielding one here. Because my thought process was... And it was just an air lace. My thought process was the Dugong, maybe they have double flyer. Maybe they have something else weak to ice in the back because Gligar is not really safe with Frost with Frostlast everywhere. Um, so I double shield. And then I'm like, if the Dugong comes back in, their fast move is going to be resisted. They can only throw drill runs. I can probably get to two Shadow Balls to take this out before they even get to a drill run. Right, so there's one resistant moves. Here's a second. So I'm going to either grab the shield back or basically take this out. Uh, and they decide to let it go and just try and go with whatever's in the back, which I think is probably the right play, knowing that I have a double on the lead. Um, I immediately switch into Jellicent because there's no point of letting Frostlass go down. And my assumption was if you are weak to counter in the front. You probably have a counter user, an answer to counter in the back. So I probably am okay with this. Um, they get off, I think it's Shadow Ball. Yeah. So double, I think, oh, this is, yeah. <laughs> Talk about not knowing your energy. You see me pressing the Shadow Ball and I'm like four powders, no short. I'm like, am I really that off? So had I known I was that short, um, I would have definitely come in double first, but do manage to farm up enough here, get the payback off, um, and I can counter down. So yeah, that was just kind of, had I known I was that far from the, from the move, I definitely would not have come in frost last there for no reason. So bad lead. We both instant swap. And this is again, one of those where I'm just like, you know your Altaria has such an amazing matchup against double. Like, why are you switching into Medi? So we both instant swapped, which, I mean, had I known they would swap, I would have got my Jellison on this, but, like, Frost has my safe swap and still doing fine. Uh, a Psychic, Medi, another defense fall. Game legs a bit. So that is unfortunate. I do have Shadow Ball here. Able to take it out. The Altaria comes back and will be able to hit super effective. What else is in the back that they decided to come in here? Uh, okay. Lantern. Don't know why they made that switch. So I'll grab a shield here. Go down. Now I can have my double on this. Um, which I guess I kind of need double to like chip a ton here. Because I cannot really get my Jealous in a line on Lantern. Um, and they end up swapping, so I bank all that energy, come in here, basically double's going to have to sweep the rest of this. Um, like, I'll chip a ton here. I, I do need to chip here, right? So I really can't take this Dragon Best Sky Attack just combo here. I do need to chip with one Shadow Ball, because double's going to have a really tough matchup. Um, I don't know how close they are to a move, so I'm just like, I got to throw this. I, I can't really take another move here because then I don't want to dump doubles energy. So they are, I think, go for the aggressive farm down, which allows me to get to a move, which I think they shield. They don't shield, so now I can just go straight body slam. I'm surprised they didn't shield that. They know I'm loaded with energy, so maybe they were worried like I'm gonna take this. Uh, but once I get that body slam shield and then get that double kick through, um, I just go for the payback to take this out. So I will take it out. Vigroth lead. Vigroth first double is very awkward. Like, very awkward. You're both doing super effective with your fighting fast moves. You both have body slam spam. So I decide to just, like, take it. And this is where it's one of those where it's, like, you kind of got to get out. You don't need to get out. Um, I'm glad I pulled out a charger bug on the frost last and not the gel scent. But I'm like, so what? I, why I shielded there? They're like, why are you shielding that? Why I shielded that was 
if you're coming charge bug charge bugs main move is x scissor to use right and x scissors get resisted by ghost so if you're coming in there maybe you have crunch was my thought process maybe it's running crunch so that's why i shielded the first one i'm unlikely to shield the next one if they get another move off here um, so i got one shield this will do a good chip at this point i know they don't have crunch maybe they're running crunch discharge but it's more likely they are just running x scissor discharge so i will let this go um, and try and go for the farm down and we both simultaneous and this is where i think i got lucky i think i get my double line to a lantern here yep so i go payback which i don't think is the right play let me just check that now i think stab body slam is probably the right play here and that's why i have to shield because i need to get this i needed to chip this um so i am able to like get a line here and just get a ton of energy Somebody said maybe it's on the ranking. Somebody said that if you go to PV poke, um, maybe it's on the rankings that it shows stab. So I do get, um, yeah. So I end up getting back to back. I go, I get a shadow ball off here, which I think, uh, they let go and I can now just double kick down not quite they, they they do throw the move um but i'm able to now hex down so that was kind of lucky there arch back this one was shocking so i'm like okay sweet arc back half ice i should double kick and kill this but like those double kicks doing super effective are doing like just even as the as the dragon breath and so i was like oh that's actually quite a lot of damage coming my way like and not a ton going their way. So I was actually quite surprised um, how much damage that did. Where is, what was the comment? Let me just look it up on my thing here while the battle goes on. I think someone said Uh, FYI, in PV poke, you can just hover your cursor above the charge move bubble to see how much it does. Well, yeah, okay, I know that. Um, I thought someone else said, um, there you go, Dan. If you look at the attacks on P on the, of the Pokemon on PV poke, if you look at that, my kids are going nuts upstairs right now um don't worry my wife is watching them dan if you can look at the attacks if you look at the attacks on pokemon on the pv poke ranking part it takes stab into the cow so you can just look at that that way is that what i'm not doing here i thought i'm doing that right now i thought i'm doing it with the ranking parts and it's not working Anyways, I think it's easier just for me to use quick math and do that this way. So the charge move is body slam versus payback. That was my 5-0, by the way. Yeah, so damage per energy, 100% is better body slam because payback is 60 energy, 110 damage, 1.83 damage per energy. Body slam is 35 for 60, 1.71, but you have to add 20%, which is 72 which makes that damage per energy closer to two. So again, if you only have one move to throw, sure, throw payback. But if you can throw multiple, it looks like going multiple body slams is probably the way to go. Anyway, so that is my 9-0. Not quite 9-1 <laughs> because of the loss was against a fairy in open open Great League. Uh, but yeah, that's a team. So there's lots of different options to use. I've got like a balanced Altera team coming tomorrow that I'm just finishing up with now. Um, and then, yeah, we'll do a combo of Retro Cup plus Ultra League testing out new Pokemon for this week. Plus there's some missions for viewers. So I think we'll, 
as long as I have the time to shoot the videos, we'll probably do two every single day um, for the rest of the week. But we'll see if I can actually keep up that shooting schedule. Anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.